to take that liberty? <laughs> well, Your Honor, it's like this. Your Honor had an elder brother. It had. Who should have inherited your title, and with it, its curse. Ah, oh, but he died. Oh, Riven, Riven, Riven. He didn't. He did not. He did not. He didn't? On the contrary, he lives in this here very village under the name of Robin Oak Apple, and he's going to marry Rose Maybud this very day. Riven alive and going to marry Rose Maybud? Can this be possible? Now, the question I was going to ask Your Honor is, ought I to tell Your Honor this? Well, I don't know. It's a delicate point. I think you ought. Mind, I'm not sure, but I think so. <laughs> That's what my heart says. Oh, it says Dick, it huh? says... Oh, it calls me Dick, because it's entitled to take that liberty. Oh, I see. That there young girl would recoil from him if she knowed what he really were. Ought you to stand off and on and let this young girl take this here false step and never fire a shot across her bows to bring her to? No, it says. You did not ought. And I won't ought according. Then you really feel yourself at liberty to tell me that my elder brother lives, that I may charge him with his cruel deceit and transfer to his shoulders the hideous thraldom under which I have lived for so many years. <laughs> Free, free to live a blameless life and to live and die beloved and regretted by all who knew me.